and the omnibus. So I was forced into the arches when I was a child. And look, it's come back to bite me later on. I'm awash with the stuff. The Archers is the world's longest running radio show with more than 15,000 episodes broadcast. Despite being a rural flavour show, The Archers is recorded in the heart of the UK's second largest city, Birmingham. Joanne, the author of The Post. This has probably been covered many times before, but I just can see what Rueri brings to the relationship. I get the feeling Julianne is in her 50s, and he is what? 19? Wouldn't people at these professional events think that she's turned up with her kid in tow? Patricia says. Well it's all history now. Susan says. It's very far-fetched. I doubt having a peachy-faced student accompany her to prestigious business events lends cachet. In real life it would never happen. If I was Julianne, I'd be wanting a George Clooney on my arm and not a Justin Bieber. Richard says to Susan. And people would notice and know exactly what he was, she would be the talk of the city amongst her acquaintances. Penny says to Susan. You don't know how old she is. Susan says to Penny. True, but I her voice and general demeanor suggests she is over 40. Regardless of age. This is no longer 1973 and I doubt any successful woman in the 21st century would feel the need to have a man escort her to a business event unless he were her business partner. The storyline would have been far more believable had she been paying him purely for sex. Linda says. Didn't Justin see them together at an hotel once? Don says to Linda. Yes. Sandra says to Linda. I don't think he saw them together. They were at the same event. He saw Rory and assumed he was there to do with his uni course. Tom says to Sandra. I thought he encouraged him in his endeavors and hinted he'd been in same position. Sandra says. Maybe. Could be you're right and I'm misremembering. Jane says to Sandra. There were strong hints from Justin that he assumed the relationship was intimate and understood that sort of thing. Jackie says to Jane. Very much so and gave a hint he had been given a leg up, as well as a leg over perhaps, by a more mature lady. Claire says. I know. I think people would raise an eyebrow at the very least. Why does she need an escort? Anyway I always thought it was a bit weird. Jillian says. Same as a young woman does for an older man. Robin says. I get the feeling how to get outraged with no evidence. I assumed about 30 as a very successful young hedge fund manager. Kirsty says to Robin. I assumed she was early to mid 40s as she does have a mature sounding voice. However the actress is 61. Robin says to Kirsty, Will actors have this thing about being able to play a part? However we can agree to differ. I have no idea what age she is supposed as it's not been mentioned that I'm aware. Roger says to Robin. When Chris and Alice located Rueri to tell him about Jennifer's death, I seem to recall Chris being a bit shocked at her age. In my mind's eye I see her as in her 40s, and Justin certainly thought it good for Rueri that he was with an older woman who would teach him a lot. Robin says to Roger. I see her as still no evidence. Roger says to Robin. It's radio drama, we have to use our imagination following the storyline and pick up hints as we go along. What exactly do you mean by evidence Robin? Robin says. I mean that we don't have any clue from the program as to her age. Except that if she was late 40s or 50s I'd have expected Alice to have been much more surprised. Roger says to Robin. I'll need to listen to the program of the meeting again, but if Julianne was in her 30s, similar age to Alice and Chris, then I wouldn't have expected the reaction that they gave. 
Do you have any evidence as to your assumption, that she was about 30, and a hedge fund manager? However, we all have different views of the characters portrayed, and become involved some of the storylines. Roger says. Robin. I've re-listened to the episode January 24, 2023 and Julianne took charge of the situation, reminding me of a mature professional, who has fought her way to the boardroom or somebody like Usha Gupta or Annabelle Shrivener. Her voice sounded more mature than a 30-year-old, and the use of the word siblings rather than brothers and sisters. Also, Chris felt there was something weird about the situation. Dawn says to Robin. I think her age is irrelevant. Penny says to Robin. Yep, I thought in her 30s. A 50-something business person would not look good taking someone 30 years younger to a business event. Shirley says. These things apparently do happen. I don't know how old Julianne is. But I am guessing late 40s or early 50s. I suspect her business dealings involve being a madam and hiring young people out for sex. Rueri just failed the training as he became emotionally attached. If he did that with someone, she pimped him out to it could blow her illegal business into the open. I think that could be why she got rid of him. Ollie says to Shirley. Isn't she in the property business? Investing in buildings would certainly explain how come Justin had heard of her and her company, as he's in property too. I don't for a moment think she's making her money from the sex industry, the functions they go to are certainly not of that type. Dawn says to Ollie. I agree. I suspect she was looking for young company because they would have lively conversation and wouldn't expect to get romantically involved with an older woman. Someone to just brighten business events. Ollie says. What he brings, he is a confident, outgoing person who can work a room. He is, IIRR, posing as her company's young management trainee, and is introducing himself as that, talking about her company and what line of business they are in, being charming and witty and picking up which of the other business people there might be interested in doing business with them, and then putting Julianne in touch to talk details. She has been supplying him with smart suits etc., so he looks the part, and, normally, his posh school manners make him good at doing the extrovert, charming chatty type. The business world, well, it is, I think, changing now, but it has been a very male-dominated world, where it can be much harder for a woman to be as successful as a man at working a room, as they call that skill. Historically the men would either not notice a woman any more than they'd notice the waitresses bringing round the canapes, or they'd take a pushy female who really intruded into their attention as propositioning them. So. I can imagine that a businesswoman who grew up in the business world less recently would much appreciate a male assistant who is good at working rooms and feeding back the useful contacts to her, and it would have to be a clearly junior one, or the contacts would be doing the business with him and ignoring her. Maybe the younger generation of businesswomen would feel far more confident in such gatherings, and not bothered about such old-fashioned stuff, which is one of the reasons I'd put Julianne older. 50s, maybe even 60 plus. For the record, I'm 61, have never been much good at working a room, and have experiences of dreading having to try, not helped by poor eyesight, which meant backslash I could never read anyone's name badge, or recognize faces across a room. Claire says to Ollie. That's really interesting and a possible explanation for her needing an escort to business events, I do think she much older than our maybe 50s, Alice and Chris commented on it, I don't think they would have if she was say in her 30s. Dawn says to Ollie. Very well put. Joanne says to Ollie. Interesting that you've picked all this up from the script. Nadine says to Ollie. 
R.S. background possibly makes him more presentable than most his age. I think your view may have been valid 20 years ago. Also if Jay is able to afford an escort she's already successful and has made it without a man on her side why does she need one now? It's a daft implausible storyline. Ollie says to Nadine. Valid 20 years ago, yes, that's what makes me think Julianne is older, 50 to 60 not in her 40s. I suspect she has been using escorts for quite a while and is well in with the agency, but Rueri has been, until now, one of the better ones. Tom says. But he's in love. Judith says to Tom. Do you really think so? I never had that impression. Tom says to Judith. He said so didn't he? Sue says. I never have understood why Jay chose R. He's not much more than a kid. Even if he is eye candy and useful on her arm, why pay to keep him? It would be very unusual for a kid from a village to have the experience to keep an older woman satisfied, in my opinion and she clearly isn't interested in the emotional chit chats either. Takes all sorts, I suppose. Judith says to Sue. He's been to boarding school, which probably means that he's mixed with people who are quite different from those in Ambridge. And at 20, he's not really a kid, although he's far from being a mature grown-up person. Sue says to Judith. He's 20 now but 18 when he met Jay. Having worked in a boarding school I found the pupils quite isolated and in their own world. Judith says. I don't have any experience of boarding schools, but independent schools give their pupils a kind of self-assurance and confidence that they often don't get in state schools. Don says to Judith. I think it's fair to say that age and maturity are not connected. There are many comments in this group from chaps I suspect are much older in years than the maturity they show in their comments. Jackie says to Sue. Purely physical and he would have staying power. Sue says to Jackie. Haha, a woman in her fifties it's about skill rather than stamina. Jackie says to Sue. Gives a bag of crisps. Penny says to Sue. You don't know she's in her fifties. I very much doubt it. Nigel says. I don't think she's in her fifties imagine her in the mid thirties. Linda says. It's not a proper relationship in any way or form. I think she's a very manipulative woman who enjoys toying with R as it makes her feel powerful and R is a very lonely, isolated man with no sense of self-worth who makes a perfect toy boy for her. It's a story we've often come across in reverse. Usually, it's an older man manipulating a younger woman. As to how it comes across in a professional situation, we've no idea I don't think that's been aired has it. Socially though she probably feels that it looks good that she appears to be able to attract a young handsome man. She probably enjoys the attention that it gives her. She may even be a little narcissistic so yes, she would enjoy the attention. Jackie says to Linda. I think it's more simple than that. She likes to have an attractive young man on her arm, and a bit of uncomplicated rumpy pumpy. She can afford to pay for it. She's running a mile now he has mentioned the L word. Linda says to Jackie. She uses him for more than just sex. He's her little run around, a dog's body who massages her ego and generally sees to pampering all her other physical needs. Jackie says to Linda. Very true. Her general gopher. Isabel says to Linda. Totally agree, she only wants him for sex and nothing else. Shirley says. It is purely a business deal and Rueri let her down, so he was sacked, sadly he seems to have fallen in love with her. Jackie says to Shirley. Fallen in love with the lifestyle she provided more like, 
and she ended up being a bit of an emotional crutch. Jane says, It seems to work in Hollywood with rich celebrities. Tina says, That's exactly what I said. Sandra says, Her name is Lisa Bowerman, and she looks just like Julianne should look. She's 61. Taylor says, Sugar dating or sugaring is becoming more common among students in the UK. Lou says, It is a sugar daddy situation in a less cliched way. Surprisingly common in some circles these days. It's about power and sex. Thank you for listening to this reaction. I'm a wash with the stuff. The Archers is the world's longest running radio show, with more than 15,000 episodes broadcast. Despite being a rural flavour show, The Archers is recorded in the heart of the UK's second largest city, Birmingham. I mean, Hayley so wanted to be in their own place when their baby came in. So, during two months, uh, not much chance of that now. I mean, it would have been a stretch for him for me now.